My last video was about the facilitation of political terrorism by Greater Manchester Police, which leads to the rather important question of just why they don't uphold the law without fear or favour uh, when it comes to policing the different communities living in multicultural, cohesive and cuddly Britain. And the partial answer to that important question, or utterly important question if you're part of Britain's traitor class, uh, lies not with the Greater Manchester Police, but with the Metropolitan Police and their odd little commissioner, Miss Dick, which is a misnomer of huge proportions, if ever I heard one, given her sexual proclivities. Uh, anyway, Miss Dick, uh, head of the London Met, who sports a snazzy little police cap rather than a great big helmet, is on the lookout for several hundred new employees, which might lead you to think they were intending to crack down on diversity's never-ending banquet of knife crime drug dealers or those mischievous little chaps on mopeds who so enhance the otherwise dreary lives of Londoners with Rolex watches and expensive phones. Uh, but no, these hundreds of new recruits are not there uh, for that at all. What they are, and this was news to me, is community assessors, a job title given to those whose only remit is to pass or reject anybody foolish enough to want to become a copper in London. And here's the thing, if you don't get past the community assessor at the first interview, that's it, your fledgling police career is over there and then. And the reason for this is Mystic's desire to stamp out alleged racism and Islamophobia in the London Met, which means that despite being called community assessors, they probably hail only from communities in the more enriched parts of London rather than the pale, stale, oppressor community of chirpy cockneys, uh, not that there are many of them left now. Uh, note to the BBC, if you want EastEnders to reflect reality, you need to sack all the white actors and hire a whole new cast of actors and actresses, and be advised the actresses should have very, very expressive eyes. Anyway, I noticed on Mystic's police website that one particular community assessor, already working for the London Met, was a man called Lutfa Ali, who bears a striking resemblance to a Lutfa Ali who once worked for the Tower Hamlets Council, but lost his job because he was funneling embezzled money to the Islamic Forum of Europe, which is controlled by some rather unsavoury, heavily hirsute fundamentalist types. So I wrote a letter to Miss Dick asking if this was indeed the same man, but my letter was obviously lost in the post because from Miss Dick there came only silence. So a friend submitted a freedom of information request asking the same question, and after a lengthy period he finally got an answer from them, uh, stating the request was refused on personal privacy grounds, but which did admit there was a community assessor by name of Lutfa Ali, uh, here's a photo of him, uh, but that they couldn't confirm or deny if he was the same man linked to the is extremist Islamic Forum of Europe. Now, I cannot for sure say whether he's the same man as Islamic fundamentalist Lutfa Ali, who is something of an enigma with just one apparent photograph in the public sphere, which may or may not actually be him, even if it looks like him, but imagine the implications if he is. Now, there you are, a six-foot-four, blonde-haired, muscular Christian rugby player sort of a chap, uh, with a degree in astrophysics and knife nullification, who wants to do his bit and join the London Metropolitan Police, but in your very first interview, community assessor Lutfa Ali rejects you out of hand for failing to show sufficient respect to the religion of peace. And if all the other hundreds of community assessors are the same, and it would be naively unwise to think they're not, then it seems pretty clear that the London Met only wants to recruit one particular type of copper in the future, uh, the better to reflect the majority-minority community they serve, presumably, and it also seems pretty clear that if a police force used an Islamic extremist as part of its recruit vetting process, it's a police force which is essentially ruled by Islamic ideology and is therefore Sharia compliant. 
I've written to Sadi Khan, the Muslim Mayor of London, expressing my concerns about this, and have uh, also written to Britain's Muslim Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, but what with London's terrible postal service, neither letter reached them, apparently. There is clearly a link between undue and overt Islamic influence over the British police and the way they blatantly favour one certain community over and above the native community. And the evidence for this is pretty obvious. Uh, Muslims gang raping vulnerable native and Sikh girls were allowed to do so for decades as the police turned a blind eye, which is something so satanically wicked. I still can't quite believe the British establishment allowed this to happen. And of course we saw the Greater Manchester Police undermine democracy in this country only the other day when they escorted hundreds of illegally masked Muslims to a Tommy Robinson campaign event in order they could carry out acts of political terrorism, uh, aided and abetted by policemen and quota police girlies who inexplicably uh, passed a police fitness test, uh, who deliberately yet defiantly looked the other way. Now it hardly needs saying that this just isn't normal. It, in fact, it, 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 it's so abnormal it beggars belief, but there is actually a very simple explanation, uh, which is this. Britain's traitor class is aware of the demographic and cultural changes which are ripping out the heart of peaceful England, and they have chosen to take the side of Islam, which is the far easier option to take if politicians and policemen uh, want a nice quiet life until they reach pensionable age. The British establishment fears Islam now, today, and they understand how much more fearsome Islam will be in the future. The British establishment doesn't fear us at all, of course, which really is something we should try to rectify whilst we still have the time to do so. Uh, to finish, I suggest everyone viewing this video logs on to the London Met's Freedom of Information site and ask them just whether they are, or are not, employing an Islamic extremist to weed out potential police recruits. And you might also want to write to your local MP if you live in London asking the same question, and leave a comment here referencing their name if they don't reply to you. Uh, there is one final thing to ponder upon. There have been countless news stories since 2012 about the thousands of Muslim gang rapists operating all across the country, but not a single story about it happening in London, home to the largest Muslim demographic in Britain. Now, don't you think that's more than a little strange? The London Muslims somehow buck the gang rape trend there, or is it happening right now, but being illegally ignored by Commissioner Dick and Mayor Sadik. Uh, finally, a message to YouTube, which in a, a display of leftist tolerance and goodwill has removed most of my videos because they can't actually refute them. Uh, I'm not stating community assessor look for Ali is the same man as Islamic fundamentalist look for Ali, I'm simply asking the police the question because they themselves refuse to tell me. And I'm not stating that the London Med is Sharia compliant, merely alleging that it just might be if it turns out to be true with regard to their employing a known Islamic fundamentalist. And as for Miss Dick not possessing a large helmet, I can only go on the non-existent photographic evidence uh, available, although I suppose she could, uh, frantically tug it off before the cameramen ever arrived. Um, that's it, really. <laughs> I'm off.